Although it usually seems like we know everything now when it comes to new Apple products, one thing we really don't know right now is what the Series 8 is going to look like, especially after being disappointed by last year's Series 7 refresh. However, new information is now pointing to a big redesign for the Apple Watch Series 8 that could show us the new flat-sided design language that we have been craving, and it would mark the biggest change to the outward appearance of the Apple Watch ever. Hey, what's going on everyone? Greg here. And yeah, we are just a few weeks away from WWDC 2022 and the Apple news and rumors are kicking up. So if you don't want to miss any of it, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And if you're a returning viewer, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. Now, out of all the Apple products we are excited for this year, like a new M2 MacBook Air, a redesigned iPhone 14, a bunch of other Apple products, I think the Series 8 Apple Watch was pretty low on my list of updates that I I was looking forward to. Don't get me wrong, I'm a big Apple Watch fan, but especially after last year where we heard rumors of a major redesign with flat sides that basically didn't see the light of day, with Apple making the Series 7 Apple Watches main new design trait, it's bigger display. And John Prosser and render extraordinaire Ian basically had to eat a ton of crow, and I think Ian was like supposed to deactivate his Twitter account or something like that. Uh, but it's a good thing he didn't, because according to Shrimp Apple Pro, a new Apple leaker on the Twitter scene, his sources are saying that Apple is working on, you guessed it, a flat-sided Apple Watch Series 8. In fact, John Prosser just put up a video going over this entire saga, and it's partly the inspiration for this video, so when you're done uh, watching this video, make sure you go and check out his video as well. But this is all to say that the flat-sided Series 8 Apple Watch might be one of the big hallmark changes for this year's watch, even though we didn't get it in last year's Series 7. But should you even believe this rumor? I mean, we all got it wrong with the Series 8 last year. We were all saying that this Apple Watch was going to get a flat-sided design, and up until the event, everyone was saying it was going to have this new design, and then when the event came on, you saw the event. You saw that it was basically the same-sided Apple Watch that we always had with, you know, since the beginning. So. Should you really believe this flat-sided rumor? Is there a chance it could come to the Series 8? Well, I actually think there's a good chance that this flat-sided design that you are seeing now in these renders could be the Apple Watch design for this year. First of all, as John acknowledged in his own video, the leaked photos of devices he receives could be for product designs that aren't supposed to come out for this product cycle, meaning they could be meant for products that are even years out. I think we've seen this bear fruit in actually a few of John Prosser's reports in the past. Products like the 24-inch iMac, the design he initially leaked, turned out to be false, but it did end up looking strikingly similar to what ended up being the studio display design. His half-size Mac Pro renders didn't turn out to be Mac Pro renders, they turned it out to be renders for the Mac Studio, and while we haven't seen the final results yet, Prosser's initial iPhone 14 leaked renders don't look like they're going to be for the iPhone 14 we are supposed to get this year, but maybe that doesn't rule out the fact that maybe these are designs that might be used in next year or even the year after that. Furthermore, it's believable that the Apple Watch will get a flat design because, well, every other Apple product is basically getting redesigned to this new style. The design ethos of pretty much all of Apple products right now, from the new studio display, to the new MacBook Pros, to the iMac, to the iPhone, to the iPad, and even the new rumored M2 MacBook Air is supposed to be getting a flatter design. So if all of these other Apple products are going flat, it would just make sense that eventually the Apple Watch would also borrow from these design inspirations. Most importantly, I think we can also just take a look at the leaked renders and see if this would actually work as an official Apple design. And to be honest, these fresh renders by Ian do look really, really good to me. And I can only imagine the final design by Apple would be even more polished than this. So these designs also pass the sniff test. And let's face it, after the seven Apple Watch revisions and updates that we have gotten already, there are very few things that Apple could do at this point to change the overall experience of the Apple Watch. It's a pretty mature product at this point, and one of the biggest differentiations that Apple could make to this product is to do a refresh to its design to make it look different, and by consequence, make every other Apple Watch look old and outdated, so that more people are likely to upgrade to the new design from one of their older Apple Watch products. There's also the possibility that this flatter design could could be for another product in the lineup. 
the new rugged edition of the Apple Watch Series 8. Yes, for this year, it's rumored that Apple is planning three separate Apple Watch updates, the regular Apple Watch Series 8, a new updated Apple Watch SE, and then an all new rugged Apple Watch Series 8 that is meant for extreme sports activities. We already know from the iPhone 12 and iPhone 13 designs that the flat sides are more rigid and durable than the previous slope designs of the iPhone, and that would also probably carry over to a flat-sided Apple Watch design. There's also a good possibility that if this design is exclusive to the rugged Series 8 design, that these 3D renders could be wrong in one crucial area, and that would be the physical material that these products are made out of. Because right now, the Series 8 renders show this product in an aluminum metal finish. However, the rugged Apple Watch is currently rumored to have a special rubberized exterior that would make it more shock and fall resistant than the Apple Watches that are out right now. With that in mind, it's possible that the Rugged Edition could feature these flat sides, but also have a completely different look and feel to them than what these leaked renders are showing off. And this could all be to pack in more durability and perhaps even make the Apple Watch bigger to fit in other specs that would be helpful to the users purchasing this watch. Something like a bigger battery, or maybe even more advanced or even exclusive health sensors. Finally, with Apple rumored to be giving the Apple Watch SE an update this year, Apple further needs to differentiate these models in the lineup. The Apple Watch SE is likely to keep the same design, but sport more features like a faster processor, and maybe even an always on display, and maybe catch up in other areas like offering more health sensors like the ECG reader. Even though it may keep the smaller 40 and 42 millimeter sizing, and with this feature set, it would look very, very similar to the current design of the Series 7. So if they kept that same design for the Series 8, it might just mean lower sales for the premium Apple Watch models. So if Apple is planning these three watch updates, the flatter design may be a way for this year for the premium model to differentiate itself from the more appealing lower end Apple Watch SE model. And looking at the big picture, a new design coupled together with some of the rumored Series 8 features, including a faster processor and a new body temperature sensor, could make it a blockbuster year for the Apple Watch. Although, I think we will probably learn a fair bit more from some clues in watchOS 9 on what to expect for this year's lineup, and thankfully that is just a few weeks away when we get to see our first beta of watchOS 9 on June 6, 2022 at Apple's WWDC event. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this new rumored flat redesign? Actually, it's not new, it's, it's kind of an old rumor, but do you think we're actually going to get it this year? Or do you think that this is still a false leak? Also, if you like this video, be sure to give me a like. If you wanna see more from the channel, make sure you're subscribed. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.